A very useful feature of Cloud 664 Rails is preview deployments. Preview deployments let you deploy any branch tag or pull request into a new branch of its own next to your live site. So you can check how your site looks like based on the branch or the tag or the pull request you just pushed in. And if you're happy with it, then you can merge it into your master or main branch and then see it live. So let's see how it works. In my rel stack that I have deployed here on AWS, I can go to previews then set up previews. Here I have four options. Number one, which is the default, that is there is no preview deployments. Then I have an option to deploy a new instance of my code base working against the same database for every branch that's committed. Here I can use a uh, glob format, which is very similar to regex for my deployments. For example, I can say anytime I commit anything with a branch that begins with the word feature, I want Cloud 66 to deploy it automatically as the new commits come in into its own instance against the same database with its own unique URL so I can see how it looks like. Another option I have is based on tags. Sometimes you might want to tag, and this is Git tags, sometimes you might want to tag the branch and the code commit that you have and only deploy the ones that you want tagged. For example, I can say anything that begins with a V1 or anything with the tag staging that will be then deployed as new commits come in. The, the fourth option, which is the most uh, commonly used and useful one, is based on pull requests. Now, you know what pull requests are in GitHub. And what happens here is that every time there is a pull request created, Cloud Success can pull the code of that pull request and deploy it in its own instance with its own URIN URL. And more than that, it will push back the details of that deployment, including the success or failure state of it and the URL that you can access it back onto GitHub. And this works with GitHub integration that we have. So your users or the person who's committed or reviewing that pull request can access the instance running against your database for checks, tests, or anything else that they want to do. And then you can, when you're happy with it, you uh, can merge the pull request into your main branch, kill the pull request, and your code will be deployed as it is in the main branch. So this is very useful when you have pull requests and you want to aggregate the results of that pull request deployment and the preview deployment onto the Git. One last option that you have is continuous deployments. So sometimes you have other tests that run before you want to deploy something. For example, you might have CI CD tests that run your tests or R specs or any other kind of checks that you want to run on your code before a deployment is attempted. Instead of wasting the time to deploy some code that might have other issues, you can click this option, which will wait for continuous integrations before the deployment happens. And that way we can make sure that the code that's deployed to the preview branch is actually of high quality. Once you have this, I'm going to give it a name. Now what I can do is I can just go to my Git repository, do a pull request, commit new code. And once the pull request is there, I'll see the deployments of those with their unique URL show up here. 